So for this first question, I'm going to, on a piece of paper, make sure to make an area model or just something so that I make sure I do three times one, which is three, four, uh, which is three, three times three fourths, which is six fourths, one half times one, which is a half, and half times three fourths, which is three eighths, and then add all those together. I do so, I get six and one eight. So this question asks us to tile the rectangle shown using square inches to find the area and then use multiplication to confirm the area. Use paper to show in your work. Well, we're not going to tile it because it's quite difficult on this particular format. But what we have here is that we need to uh, multiply. And again, I'm going to do that same thing. Set up my area model. Split this into three and three fourths. Split this into five and one fourth. And then I'm going to do five times three, etc. So I end up with the product five times three is 15. 5 times 3 fourths is 15 fourths, 1 fourth times 3 is 3 fourths, and 1 fourth times 3 fourths is 3 sixteenths. I add all of that together and I'm going to get 19 holes. And I'm going to need to change uh, the fourths into sixteenths in order to add them. We end up with 11 sixteenths. A fifth grade class completely covers a walkway with square tiles. Each square measures three fourths foot as shown. The length of the walkway is covered by ten tiles and the width is covered by six tiles. What is the total area of the walkway? So first I need to think that I have ten times three fourths on one side and then on the other side I have six times three fourths. So I do those two measurements. Ten times three fourths is going to be thirty fourths, which is seven and a half. And then I would do six times three fourths, which is 18 fourths, which is four and a half. And I'm going to multiply those two numbers. And so I end up with a answer right here of 33 and three fourths. And just as a um, guide is in my head, I actually could have just reasoned this one because once I have 10 times three fourths and I know that it's seven, and a lot and a half and I do that I have six times three fourths and I know I've got four and a half then I just need to do in my head seven times four is 28 so this is the only reasonable answer select the true statements about rectangles and rhombuses rectangles and rhombuses always have four straight sides well they're both quadrilaterals so that's true rectangles and rhombuses always have four equal sides no that's only true of rhombuses Rectangles and rhombuses always have four right angles. No, that's only true of rectangles. So now it said three, so I know it must be these two. Opposite sides are always parallel. Well, they're both parallelograms, so it's correct. Rectangles and rhombuses always have angles that add up to string to 60 degrees. That's true of all quadrilaterals. Select so from the drop down list to complete each statement. A parallelogram can be a rectangle if it has four right angles. That's the defining feature of a rectangle. A trapezoid can be a rhombus if it has four equal sides, that's the defining feature of a rhombus. Consider the attributes of the shape learned. Set three select three choices that collectively name the shape. Parallelogram, well it has parallel sides here, and parallel sides here, it has two sets, so it's a parallelogram. Is it a rhombus? Well a rhombus has all equal sides, this doesn't. It, is it a rectangle? Well it has four right angles, so yes it's a rectangle. Is it a trapezoid? We define a trapezoid as be, having at least one set of parallel sides, this has two, so yes, it's a trapezoid. And it said three choices, but let me just check. Kite. Well, this can't be a kite because kite has two pairs of equal sides that are next to each other. This shape's equal sides are opposite. All parallelograms, so I need to make sure this is true or false. All parallelograms are, are quadrilaterals. True. All rhombuses are squares. That is false. Only some rhombuses are squares. And it's if it has equal angles as well as equal sides. All rectangles are trapezoids. That is true because a rectangle has two parallel sides and a trapezoid has at least one set of parallel sides. Squares are always parallelograms. That is true. Kites cannot be rhombuses. That is false because a rhombus has all equal sides. So it would be a type of kite because a kite is a shape which has two pairs of equal, uh, equal sides that are the same. Uh, sorry, they're next to each other and a rhombus has all equal sides. And so I submit, and I feel great about myself. Have a great day.